Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you can see, me and Curry here are visiting Overland Station, which was one of my early, you know, MC Escher esque kind of throw together, make it work kind of builds here. This is before I got into the really wild stuff. Well, really, before a lot of the, the building equipment that you could get, a lot of the uh, the building items, all the the vault stuff and the concrete. This is once upon a time, month. This is what you had, which is be is actually probably a more realistic way of building a a settlement if you weren't building it so that all of the weight was on basically two pieces of wood. But I mean, you know, that's um that's neither here nor there. I mean, like seriously. There's, don't much care for good there be, everybody's that in this, this one room control. okay that's weird enough as it is how do we get into the uh, the room with the cow jump jump ain't looking for trouble oh, boom. I hope did that door open? No, I don't even know if that how does that cow get in there? how did the cow clip into the door? I mean that's just You hear about that farm run by Is, that Is there fun. another door here? Stump? No. At any rate, let's just zip out here for another view of it. Here in the rain. As you can see again, I feel like this location, which has a much better view when it's not pouring rain. Perhaps we should hop out of the suit. And do the time warp again. Let's let's do that. Okay, we wake up in the morning and it's a radioactive mess. You must think no, let's. You cannot sleep while taking radio. Okay, we didn't. There we go. Let's take another nap. Alright, here you go. Now it's all nice, and you can see. Check out this view. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think we could do a lot more here. I think we we could build something here, looking out over the admittedly ruined but somewhat beautiful landscape, with all the dead trees and. There you go. It is a very it's a very simple structure. Basically, we just did whatever we had to do here to. And make them happy as happy as possible. There's enough food. There's enough beds. There's not much else. There's not much in the way of amenities. There is a cow stuck in the wall. And again, I yes. cannot figure out a way in there. To even oh, see how the cow you know would have gotten in the there. One that ends without an empty stomach. The water, you can see the water. We could do so much more. Now, that was, was back in the day when all you had were these pumps. That really makes no sense. You don't get more pumps by pumping the same water from... But hey, it's fallout logic. We do have some stores here and things like that. But what I'm planning to do... Because we're going to send all these guys. The one, the one workshop I have where I have room is Covenant. There's only like eight or nine people there, or something like that. So if we send everybody away, let's go up here first. First thing we want to do before we kind of tear everything down. and then build anew is we don't want people saying hey there's no beds here I'm miserable and leaving and then you lose a settlement and that kind of thing it's, uh, whoa that was weird uh, oof. probably the only windmill I have going here boy it takes up so much space you wouldn't believe it come on so let's pew so, the recruitment beacon has gone offline and should be collecting no more people. We can just keep pooping. 
for a good long line there. All right. And I feel like, man, I feel like taking pictures here, man. This is, this has been in the game for me for a very long time, but I feel like it's time to do something else. So let's get out of this so that my, my karma, you know, goes all the way. Karma, my charisma goes up. Karma too. Settler, unassigned. Let's move that settler. To Covenant. Woo. Take a walk. You there. Also to Covenant. I will depopulate the place. Okay, wait a minute. It should work. I know there's lots of room in Covenant. Can you not move two in a row? I know you can move two in a row. I mean, I don't really care where. I'm going to Norhagden Beach. I don't care, but why wouldn't you um, be able to send someone else to Covenant? Well, we'll do the unassigned ones first. Move. That one can go to Covenant. Here he is, of course, on the sign. This settler, come on, lock on. To Covenant. I wonder why you couldn't send that one to Covenant. Why did that have to go to Nurhagda? Move. I, mean, I don't want to break up families here. Is it possible that I was selecting the same person twice? Something like that? Well, now it's not working? Okay, let's tap to cancel. Let's see now, let's just escape out. Let's let that sort out a little bit. This could take some time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just thinking, let's move everybody. And then pull this all down and start fresh with a new thought. I want to put enough room why am I suddenly going to hit that button? There we go. I'm going to put enough room that someday when things get better, this big old train here can roll right through here and it can be like a big train, an actual big train station. I mean, it's like, yeah, these guys are a little bit staring down the space. I don't know if they're moving or not. Okay, can we move this guy? You're on a sign. Let's move you. I think you'll like Covenant. There's room there. Move. No reason this person can't go to Covenant. Again, Covenant I know has room. Doesn't even show up. There's gotta be some kind of weird glitch with that. I think you have to wait a little a certain amount of time. Unless he's already been moved. Alright, well this is going to be probably a little bit of a new series, I guess. I don't know, a little piece series? Will this be just a one-off of one of the things I'm doing? I don't know. Well, it's one thing I'm going to be doing in the game is 
taking this down, moving everybody out, putting up something wonderful, and then let it repopulate and things can go from there as they are. Or should I just say the heck with it and just build it around them and let them be, have, no, have nowhere to sleep for a little while. I don't know. Is it is it worth moving everybody? Because then I still have some population in place. How many people do we have here now? Let me get a little closer. Twelve people. Eh. We can keep a dozen around, I guess. Of course, they'll be wandering through as they, you know, as I'm building things. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to start considering a rebuild. This is your Black Knight. Actually, that's Curie. You, you can imagine I'm in the suit. Have a great night.